Many developers want to implement mods into their game, either if it's the user can customize textures, they can customize 3D objects, or they can simply just change game values. In this video, we'll be implementing a very simple version of a modding system where we use a JSON file format that changes the size of these spheres here from the sign scale video. So I already have Visual Studio open here and I have a new path getting created. I also have a sign stats class which is serializable and I've already created the JSON file. I'm actually going to delete that comma there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is import system.io. We'll just be going from top to bottom here, .io. Okay, like that. That allows us to pretty much access the file class. We also need to make these formatted variables in here. So you have to create a public float, just call it speed. It has to have a capital letter like it does in the JSON file. And then you can also just create one for magnitude as well. Magnitude like that okay so now we have to say if file dot exists this is pretty much telling it to check if a directory exists and a folder in that directory exists and i'm just going to pass in the path variable here this and then that should check if it does and then we can create a new string and just call it json and just say equal to file dot file dot read all text and then we can tell it to read from our path here and then we can simply create a new sign, sign stats. I turned off autofill for Visual Studio because it was getting in the way. So I can just call that sign stats here, or you could just call it S stats or pretty much anything. And then you can just say JSON utility, utility. And then we can do from JSON, and then we want to pass in our sign stat here. And then we can also have to pass in our string JSON like that. And then it's time for the processing part. Okay, so now we can just simply say speed is equal to sign stat dot speed. And then we can just say magnitude, magnitude is equal to sign stat dot magnitude like that. And then that pretty much just, I'm actually going to, I messed up the spelling, magnitude. Okay, I, I messed up the spelling big time. But um, anyways, it's whatever that is. Magnitude is equal to sign stats dot magnitude, like that. And then that pretty much does it, but we also have to add in a failure condition. So if this file does not exist, then we'll go ahead and just make a new sign stats, sign stats, and just call it new sign or s stats like that and then we can just say equal to a new sign stat this is creating pretty much a new object and then we just have to say speed is equal to this dot speed and then we can simply say magnitude magnitude is equal to this dot magnitude like that and then we can end off this object here and then we have to create a new string and just call it json and then we can say json utility if I can type correctly, utility dot to JSON. So we're pretty much just reversing it here. Instead of using from JSON, we're using to JSON. And then we can just pass in our new S stat like this. And then we can do file dot write all text. And then we can just say the path that we created earlier. And then that should actually work. So I'm actually going to, okay, I miss something oh i forgot to give it a contents as well so i have to give it a new contents of json as well and then everything should work and i'm actually just going to navigate real quickly to the persistent data path okay so i've navigated to the persistent data path here uh i'm actually going to delete this sign data json here um just to show you that it does indeed create something so we can go back into unity let it compile go into the console clear out all the errors that unity is giving me press play and then it doesn't load from our json file because it doesn't exist but we can see it did create one and i can go ahead and format that in visual studio format document and then i could just change this to whatever i would like i could just like change the speed to just say like eight or something and the magnitude to something like 0.5 you have to actually do 0.5 
it's just a weird thing with JSON. And then we didn't have to reload or anything because it's reading from an external text file, which means that Unity doesn't have to recompile it. And this also allows your users to create the modding that we've been talking about in this video. Because since it automatically adds the file to the user's computer, it means that you don't have to distribute this JSON file and it also allows them to customize their JSON file. So for example, if I was running this in an individual build on somebody else's computer, I can modify these values without having to rerun it in a build every time. So now it's time for the breakdown. If you're more advanced, you can skip this part. So here we're just loading the path. Application.PersistentDataPath is the local low file. Here we're checking if the file exists. We are checking if the file exists. Here we're reading what that JSON file says. So I'm just going to comment that out as, okay, like that. And then we're creating a new sign stats variable down here based off this JSON utility loading function. So I'm just going to comment that out as well. And then here we're just setting the, um, the variables in the script like that and then in our else statement we're checking to see if the file does not exist and then we are checking we are creating a new sign stats variable so we are like that we're assigning the variables here so i'm just going to make a new comment here like that and then we're converting this to a json file so i'm just going to add a comment there as well like that and then we're actually doing the saving like that okay so if you like this type of video where i do something and then i explain what each line is doing then be sure to subscribe and leave a like i will certainly be making more of these in the future and i'll also be making more unity tutorials in general in the future so be sure to subscribe and leave a like to stay tuned for more videos like this that is all from me for now fun uber out